Hello again! In this video, we'll be going over some good beginner goals. A lot of the leaders have a lot of different opinions as to what good beginner goals are, so I'm going to present to you a handful of different ones and you can kind of pick and choose based off what you want to do. At the end of the day, all of these are good suggestions and I suggest going through all of them. The first goal, and one of those that I'm going to spend the least time covering, is playing through the full game on double-O agent difficulty. This is a really good learning tool. You'll get to know a lot of the levels, you'll get to learn how guards act and react to you, how Bond moves as you control them, and possibly get ideas of levels that you'd like to play in the future. It can be a challenge for sure, especially for newer players, but it's a fun game overall. As you play, I highly encourage you to keep using 1.2 and either keyboard or alien finger, whichever you've decided on, as it'll give you a lot more practice and help develop your overall sense of control. If you're having difficulty beating specific levels, reach out to anyone in the community and they'll gladly help you out. Trying to unlock all the cheats by hitting the target times on various levels is another fun goal to work towards. Another quick suggestion is doing full game runs. If you're familiar with other speed games, our version of any percent is beating the full game on agent difficulty. Timing begins when you start the level damn and ends when the level fades out on cradle. This will give you a good grasp on the game as a whole, and again, give you ideas for levels that you might want to run individually. Goose has an excellent tutorial going over strategies for that. I'll have the link below for you to check that out. Be warned, he goes over a lot of strategies that are now outdated. However, it's still a good learning tool for newer members. This next suggestion is one of my personal favorite beginner goal times. I immediately suggest this to anyone starting out and it's runway agent in 24 seconds without self-boosting. In essence, this is simple. You start the level, run, pick up the key, run to the plane, and leave. You don't have to worry about nade timing or anything, you just have to play cleanly. This is a good goal to get a good idea of how clean you need to play to get good times. And after some practice, you should be able to get 24 on every single run that you do. The level itself is easy to unlock, you only have to beat dam and facility to get to it. The level is short and simple, but requires good movement to get 24. Now if you've ever seen someone play Runway Agent, you'll know that for the world record we use self boosts with the grenades you pick up at the start. Again, however, I suggest that you go for 24 without self boosting at all. And now I'll go over everything you need to know to work towards this. I suggest playing Runway with widescreen so that it's easier to set your lines at the start and to the plane. You'll want to hit either B, A, or Z to skip the first two cinemas right away. Holding one of these buttons as you open up the level will auto-skip the first cinema, and then you just need to time your second button press to cut the next cinema as soon as it pops up. The cinema on runway causes Bond to move forward slightly, and it's harder to pick up the grenades that are sitting right by where you start. You can see the difference here in Bond's position compared to when you cut the second cinema right away, or watch the entire thing. Before you gain control of Bond, you're going to want to be in left strafe, so you want to hold C up and C left. Continue to hold these as you gain control of Bond, and turn slightly to the left immediately as you start to pick up the grenades. Set your line to the corner of the chute, turn down it, and make sure not to get stuck on anything. The geometry is a little weird here. As you do this move, hit A once to bring up the grenades. We'll be using one in a second. As you reach the bottom of the chute, you're going to want to aim your next line slightly to the left of the door to the hut. You'll want to hit B to open the door right around here, and then turn so that you go through the doorway. Having a clean hut is essential to getting good times on runway, so make sure to keep an eye on how cleanly you're getting in and out. Once you're inside, take a tight line to the corner of this table here to pick up the plane key. Press Z once at any point while you're here near the table to chuck a nade at these guards. That will make sure that they don't blow up the plane later. Switch to right strafe as you pick up the key. This means you'll let go of C left and press and hold C right instead. Make sure that you never stop pressing C up as you'll lose full speed as we discussed in a previous video and lose around 0.4 seconds right away. You'll be in right strafe for the rest of the level so keep holding C up and C right until the level fades out. Turn cleanly out of the hut and cut your line tight to the corner of the hut here. Turn this corner and try to set one big long line that will take you all the way to the side of the plane. Feel free to use some look down if you like, it'll lower lag and make 24 a bit easier to get. Chances are, as you're running to the plane, you're going to get a boost or two from either the guards or the drone. But again, don't bother self-boosting quite yet. As you get close to the plane, mash the B button to enter the plane as soon as you can, and enjoy your nice clean Runway 24. I've linked Ogran's Runway Agent map in the description if you'd like to see everything I've gone over mapped out on an image. I'll play through that one more time. 
So you want to immediately cut both cinemas, start in left strafe, turn a little bit, down the chute, press A to switch to nades, B, nade, right strafe, out, turn, big long line to the plane. The best place to aim for on the plane is right by the wing. And right as you get close, mash B. And then boom, runway 24. This last goal that I'm going to talk about in this video is one of my personal suggestions and one that many other leaders have suggested as well. And this is facility agent beaten in under a minute. Many leaders have suggested to newer players to play a lot of this level and get really good at it, as it's really good at helping you develop your OCB along with some other skills. This level can be really intimidating at first, but sub minute is a pretty good starter goal to get you on the right track. You do not have to play super well to get sub minute, but it's still a good learning tool to learn how to do a bunch of inputs really fast. Since you don't have to play that well, you can kind of improvise a little bit as you go and react to what guards do. It's really good for practicing keyboard or alien finger, as you need to do a lot of button inputs quickly and controlled. The run that I'm going to show you is a 53, so keep in mind that you have 6 or 7 seconds to work with compared to this particular run. Since sub minute again isn't really that tight, I'm just going to go over everything briefly so that you have a general idea of what you need to do as you go through the level. Firstly, use whatever screen size that you want on this level. Cut both cinemas right away in the same style that we cut the runway cinemas. You'll be starting in right strafe, so C up and C right need to be pressed when you start the level. Right strafe through the vents, and then down into the stall. Getting through these next three doors is one of the most difficult parts of the level, and will just take a lot of practice. You want to get through them as fast as you possibly can. You can oftentimes hit B earlier than you expect you can, and still get the door open. And again, make sure that you don't let go of C up at any point. After getting cleanly through the doors, you can either go down these stairs in right or left strafe and turn tightly towards the door. While you do so, fire 6 or 7 shots from your PP7. This will open a door that we'll see in a second. Press B to open this door. There's a guard on the other side of the store that will need a kill to get his keycard and KF7. For sub minute, I'm going to suggest that you let go of strafe and just see up towards him and shoot him a bunch of times until he dies and then turn back through the door. As you get back through this door, switch to KF7 or stay on PP7, either one works, and shoot this guard that's blocking your way. Go into this room, hit B on the console, and quickly get out of the room. As you're going down this next hallway, switch so that you have your minds out. When you get to this door, you want to hit B, and then press A to swap to the detonator to warp through the door, and then quickly turn to the right to get through the next doorway. I missed the warp on this run. At this point, you can self-boost, so you can throw a mine here on this wall near this door, open this door, and then once you're on the other side, press A and B together to detonate the mine and self-boost down the next hallway. I missed that self-boost as well. Again, I'm missing a lot of these important time-saving tricks, yet is still a 53, so sub-minute really isn't that tight. Open this door and back-switch to KF7 to warp it, and then press B on the next one. After the door is about halfway open, start shooting your KF7 and you're going to want to shoot down until you have 18 bullets left in the clip, so a total of 12 shots as you move around these next corners. Those shots cause a guard to open this door. There are a handful of ways to get through here. You can either warp past him or shoot him to get him out of your way. I shoot him here in this run. Getting up these stairs is probably the hardest part of the level. Make sure you turn up tightly. Move through the lab here as fast as you can, not getting stuck on anything, trying to take some tight lines. I suggest C upping towards this door so you don't accidentally strafe past it, hit B when you're at it, and then back switch to KF7 to try to warp it and go onto the stairs. Turn tightly down these stairs, and then we're at the end of the level. Here's Trevelyan, we have to meet with him for an objective. Trev here can be in a couple different spots. What I have here on this run is what we call a bad Trev, meaning he is facing towards the tanks. A good Trev has Trev facing us as we get to the bottom of the stairs, and he starts talking to us earlier, and he's not in and amongst the tanks, and we don't have to worry about blowing him up. At this point, use your remaining mines and KF7 bullets if necessary to destroy these tanks. The strategy I use in this run is one of the more consistent methods with a bad Trev of placing a mine on this tank this tank, back switching to KF7, and then shooting out these last two. 
for sub minute. It's not terribly important to do these too fast, so just take them however you feel most comfortable. For a bad Trev, wait for Trev to walk away from the tanks before detonating. Once he does, press A and B together or pull out the detonator and press C to detonate the mines. Wait a second and then run out of the doors over here and boom, that's facility. You want to make sure that Trev doesn't die in any of the explosions because if he does, you'll fail the mission. Now let's watch that all again right through. Cut both cinemas, start in right strafe. Get through these doors as fast as you can. I don't do it that well on this run. Come in here, kill that guard, turn around, kill him, run in there, hit B, get out. Move to this door, warp to detonator. Self boost to the mine. Back switch to KF7. Shoot 12 bullets after the door is halfway open. Either warp or shoot him. Move up these stairs. Move through the lab. Hit this door, back switch again, down the stairs. Meet up with Trev, don't kill him. And blow up the tanks however you see fit. Go to the door, wait for him to walk away, blow up and leave. And again, this is a 53, 6 seconds faster than 59 or a sub minute goal. So there's a lot of leeway here, and as you'll see, I didn't have a perfect run here in this 53, so it doesn't take a perfect run to get sub minute by any means. If you hit sub minute and decide you want to keep playing this level, there are more in-depth tutorials by both Luke and Goose that go over everything in more detail, so I suggest watching those if you want more information. I suggest watching Goose's toot first as it covers non-world record strats, and you'll most likely find it the most helpful. Luke's is aimed more at getting 43, which is the current world record, so Goose's tutorial is probably going to be the more approachable of the two. This concludes part one of Beginner Gold Times. In the next part, we'll go over Dam Agent, Runway Agent again, Bunker 1 Agent, and Archives Agent. 